So this is Dundrasil. I'd heard the rumors about what happened here, but still, I never expected this. To think that not so very long ago, this was one of the world's great cities, and that it was reduced to rubble in a single night. The king and queen murdered by monsters. The princess of Heliodor, too. The poor thing was only visiting. Oh, but I don't need to tell you this. They were your parents, after all. So where's the old guy from the tournament, anyway? And why'd he drag us all the way out here? Look! Those torches are lit! He must be in there somewhere, waiting for us!
So you made it at last. Is it just you? Where's your friend, the girl? Hmm. She has duties to attend to. She'll be glad you came, though, as am I. It's not like we had much choice. Now where's the rainbow? We need it. Oh, you do, do you? I suppose that's because your pal here's the luminary. <gasps> Wait. How could you? I thought you died years back, laddie. When I saw that mark in your hand at the tournament, my heart skipped more than a few beats, let me tell you. Now, come along. There's something I want to show you. If you'll indulge an old man for a wee while. Aye, this place brings back some memories, sure enough. Look, are you going to tell us who you are, or what? I'd already given up most of my duties by then. I spent most of my days in the city enjoying my retirement. Oh, we had us some fun. <laughs> and then the monsters came, and I lost everything. When I was your age, laddie, this was one of the finest cities you could ever hope to see. And look at it now. One night. That's all it took them to tear it all apart. Ugh. Just listen to me blethering on. I, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Come on. Somebody's grave. Aye. This is where the king and queen of Dundrasil are buried. <gasps> you mean... Hmm. This is your parents' grave, laddie. The grave of my daughter and son-in-law. Wait, but that would mean... you're his grandfather. These two fine young souls died, and I survived. I came to believe there must have been a reason for that. That someone had a purpose in mind for me. So I set out to learn why Dundrasil was destroyed. I've been on the road ever since. I've uncovered some of the truth on my travels. It was King Carnelian, you see. He... changed. He once believed in the power of the Luminary more than any of us. But he became convinced that you were evil. That you were the Darkspawn. Ah... Uh, he's 
not a man I knew any longer. Foxy blames you for everything, even the death of his daughter. How could you, old friend? There's something behind it all. The fall of Dundrasil, the change in my old comrade. I promise you, I will find out the truth. Eleanor, my girl. Erwin, I found him. I found your boy. He wasn't lost to us after all. Humor an old man a while longer. There's an old royal ritual, you see. It's to send the souls of the departed to a better place. I'd like you to help me perform it. There's an altar up in the hill behind the castle. I'll be waiting for you there.
Everything's ready. Thank you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Wait, you don't mean... If the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me, only members of the Drusillian royal family may perform the ritual. How come he called you princess? Are you? Quiet now. The ritual is about to begin. You just follow my lead. All right, laddie. The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. The smoke guides them back to where they belong. To Yggdrasil's bosom. Each butterfly is a lost soul. And now they can all be at peace. die in vain, Eleanor. You saved your boy and the princess. It was a noble sacrifice you made. Thank you, my beautiful girl. And goodbye. I hope you don't mind me asking, but your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? So this letter's why you went to see King Carnelian, eh? Oh, if only she'd known. I'm sorry, laddie, you've been through so much. But I suppose if you'd not set out for Heliodor, the journey would never have led you to me, eh? Oh, Helena. <laughs> Sorry, Laria. I'm going to need to be alone for a wee while.
Lady Elena. <gasps> Who's there? You weren't supposed to see that. I was just thinking about Lady Elena. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? My mother was a rather sickly soul by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Wait, up there! <sighs> Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Heliodor. Come on. We need to get back to the others. Hmm. from the altar. No sign of them. What about the Darkspawn? No sign of him either. Blast! They must have gone away. It, it's him! <gasps> He's over here! The Darkspawn is over here! Oh, for goodness sake. What shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the Darkspawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Just you try it. I can't be expected to take her on alone. Sir Hendrik! Sir Hendrik! Come on. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. Darkspawn, there is nowhere left to run. <sighs> you are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward! Ha! 
This is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic. You will evade me no longer, Darkspawn. The chase ends here. Princess Jade? Surely not. I won't let you go again. <laughs>